Okay, this is uh, our second session this morning, and we're continuing our study about who will go in the rapture. And I've been sharing with you that all true believers in the Mashiach, in the Messiah, will go in the rapture. And uh, the the one of the reasons why that that there's a lot of confusion about this is that a lot of people, a lot of believers, don't really understand uh, what's actually happened the moment that you truly put your faith and trust in the Messiah. Now, I know, as I showed in my past video, that um, there are a lot of people who go to church who claim to be believers, who claim to be Christians, who claim to be saved, are true or not really. They, they're, they're going about a, in the form of, of uh, a religion. It's a, they do religious acts. They could teach Sunday school. They could do a lot of things that appear that they're truly believers. But in reality, they never have been born of the set-apart spirit. Now, one of the things that... that People try to, to add works into the equation of salvation. Now, the, the, the Bible teaches that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but it's according to his mercy that he saved us. Can you understand what that says? Exactly. It's not by what you've done or what you'll continue to do, but it's by his mercy that we're saved. Now, it's... It's when you and I put our faith and trust in the, the finished work of the Messiah. As I've, uh, I've shared in another video, that uh, the way that we enter into the rest of Yahuwah is to believe what he said. You know, the children of Yasharel failed to enter the promised land after Yahuwah told them that he had given them the land and to go in there and possess it. And they failed to go in, it says, because of their unbelief. And Yahuwah, in his anger, said, I So I swear in my wrath, or in my anger, they shall not enter in because of unbelief. Then, then the apostle uh, of, the, of the writer of, of the book of Hebrews stated, in that next verse, he said, uh, So let us not fall after the same example of unbelief. In other words, he was exhorting believers, or, or, or anyone really, to, to not to fall after the same example of unbelief. See, unbelief is really the only sin that will send someone to hell. In fact, the Mashiach said that. He said that, talking about the set-apart spirit, he said when he is come, and this you'll find this in the Gospel of John, uh, I can't remember the exact chapter and verse, but it's in the Gospel of John where he talked about that uh, when he is come, talking about the, the Ruach HaKadosh, the set-apart spirit, he will reprove the world of sin uh, and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. At, at the judgment seat of Mashiach, at the, excuse me, at the, judgment, the great white throne judgment, unbelievers will be judged by one thing, whether they believed on the one the Father had sent. There won't be a, you know, this litany of sins brought up before them and then, then uh, and all the good deeds they did uh, put up measured together to see what the outcome, see if they did more good works than bad works. No, it's only going to be a matter of if they believed in the one the Father has sent. And that's what Yahushua said. He said, of, of judgment because they believe not on me. That's one thing that will send someone to hell is they don't believe that the, the, that, uh, the, the Messiah, Yahushua, paid the price for their sins, came as their substitute to, because it, uh, there was a penalty that had to be paid for man's rebellion. And uh, if you're trusting in your own efforts, your own self-works, uh, you are going to fall short because it's only his righteousness that you and I have to partake of. Not my righteousness. I don't want to stand before the Creator in my own righteousness. I want to stand before him in his righteousness in fact, that's what the, the uh, Yahudim or the Jews, and if you read in Romans chapter 10, um, verse 1, let me just go to that right quick. Uh, Romans chapter 10, and it says in verse 1, talking about the, Paul writing here, saying, talking about to the Jews, he said, talking about the Jews, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahuwah for Yasharel or Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahuwah, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of Yahuwah's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, 
have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahuwah. For Mashiach, or Messiah, is the end of the law, or the Torah, for righteousness to everyone that, what? Believes. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, or the Torah, that the man that does those things shall live by them. In other words, if you're going to try to be justified before Yahuwah by keeping the law, then you're going to have to keep the whole law. And we know the scripture teaches that if you break the, the one point of the law, you become guilty of all of it. So who wants to live under that? The law is not made for a righteous man. Now that's the problem with a lot of believers. They don't believe they're righteous. And so they're trying to justify being justified by keeping the law, not understanding that the law was never intended to cause you to evolve into some kind of new creation. It was to, to point you that you needed a savior. And the, the, Paul wrote that the, the law or the Torah was our schoolmaster to bring us to the Messiah. In other words, mankind would recognize that he could not keep the law and that he was a sinner and he need, had need of a savior. So that's what he's saying right here. Paul is writing here that Yasharel was ignorant of Yahuwah's righteousness and went about to establish their own. In other words, they thought by keeping the law, by keeping the Shabbat, by keeping all the, the commandments of Yahuwah, that they could be justified before him. And it says they were ignorant of Yahuwah's righteousness. Why? Because they did not seek it by faith. Yahuwah, Abraham, before the law came, was justified by his faith. Abraham believed Yahuwah, and that was accounted to him for righteousness. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I want you to see that it's not by uh, keeping the, the commandments that you're justified before Yahuwah, but it's your faith that pleases him. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We'll pick this up on our next session, so thank you again for your time. Please share my videos, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Shalom. <coughs>